Here at Cascadia Dread, we talk a lot about horror movies, though today we're going to shift away from that, somewhat, and instead talk about video games. Now, as many, many, many others have said before me, video games and movies have a not great relationship. Though it does seem like that started to change. There have always been more than a few good games based on movies, and over the last decade, give or take, we've actually seen some good ish movies based on games. One thing we haven't seen enough of though, good games based on horror movies. And that got us thinking, what are some horror movies that could actually make the transition to video game format? So without further ado, here are five horror movies that could make good video games. Before we get started though, we have two rules. One, nothing that's had an official game release in the last decade, so Friday the 13th is off the table. And number two, nothing that's actively being developed right now, so that does include the upcoming Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. With all that said, let's get started. Number five, Saw. Now there were a couple Saw games released in 2009 and 2010 respectively, and they were... nothing special. But I do think there is potential with this series. One way to make Saw work as a game, turn it into a VR experience, where you're personally caught in one of Jigsaw's grizzly traps and need to find a way out. You can make it into a puzzle game, or even something akin to an especially gory escape room, as long as the puzzles are well designed, and bonus points as they could get Tobin Vell to voice Jigsaw again, it could be a memorably gruesome and immersive experience. Maybe it might be a little too much for some, but for those who could handle such intensity, that just might be a Jigsaw game that some might actually want to play. Game over. Number 4, The Purge. This one has a few possibilities. You could take control of a character where you have to navigate the violent streets in order to find safe haven, using special tactics including stealth, fighting skills, and etc. If you want to make it a little more interesting, there are some options. Since the purge lasts 12 hours, maybe you make it so you have to survive for a certain time period, either sped up or even last 12 hours of real time. There's definitely some story potential too, since The Purge is a series with some very overt commentary, a decent writer could knock out a passable story. Any game developers watching this, I think this is actually a very doable movie to turn into a game. Just something to think about. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Number 3, Silence of the Lambs. Okay, hear me out on this one. I'm not necessarily suggesting a direct adaptation of Silence of the Lambs or any of its sequels or prequels, but rather a detective game set in the universe of Thomas Harris' Hannibal series. Think L.A. Noir, but more leaning on the horror side, i.e. grisly murders and memorably demented killers. You take control of Clarice Starling, each level you have a new case to solve, investigating crime scenes, looking for clues, interrogating suspects, the usual and occasionally you face off against the killers. If you really want to make it suspenseful, you can even have a ticking clock of some kind. That'll ramp up the challenge. And of course, Hannibal Lecter would be around. Whether locked up or out and about, he should be this watchful figure that makes the odd appearance, reaching out to Clarice with either a hint, a clue, a threat, or something like that. Oh, and if you could get Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins to reprise their characters, yeah, tell me that wouldn't be awesome. Number two, The Cabin in the Woods. Okay, I actually don't know exactly how you can make this into a decent game. I mean, other than as a standard Resident Evil style survival horror action game. All I know is this, that it's a movie with literally every possible horror figure you could imagine coming to kill you. That has all kinds of video game potential and I'd love to see someone take a stab at this one. And number one, A Nightmare on Elm Street. There hasn't been an Elm Street game since the not terrible, but not very good NES game, but I actually have thought quite a bit on how to turn this series into a potentially decent modern video game. Now your first instinct is to be able to play as Freddy, and that's not a bad idea. Take control of Freddy, invade the nightmares of Springwood teens, manipulate a dream nightmare environment, and find creative ways to frighten and defeat the said teens. There's potential there. 
Though I think that would get old pretty quickly, and I don't think it's enough to sustain a game by itself. So how about this? A strategy slash mystery game where you control and alternate between multiple Springwood characters, like say in Grand Theft Auto V, but each is trying to defeat Freddy while staying awake. You know how in Dream Warriors, how they defeated Freddy by finding his skeleton and burying it? You could do a premise similar to that, where there are multiple items scattered around town that have to be collected. Though where the challenge comes from, each character has a sleep meter. The longer you go awake, the more it goes down. You can recharge here and there with coffee and energy drinks, but eventually it'll run out. And when a character does fall asleep, they either have to survive a nightmare against Freddy or find a way to get another character to wake them up. If they don't succeed, that character is dead and can't be used anymore. And again, much like Dream Warriors, each character has their own dream powers or abilities just to give the nightmare sequences some variety. I admit this concept needs some work, but I do think Nightmare on Elm Street is ripe with potential for a compelling strategy, adventure, or horror game. There's a lot of multiplayer possibilities too, like having each player control a different character, and maybe even one is Freddy, kinda similar to the Friday the 13th games. And I guess the final question is this. Do you get Robert England to voice Freddy again? Uh, duh, of course you do. Get out of here now, please! Now. Hey! You forgot the power glove! No. So those are five horror movies that could possibly make good video games. Agree or disagree? What are some horror movies you think could make the jump to the gaming world? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to Cascadia Dread for more horror-related content. See you next time.